Hey, this is Mr. Mason Ed, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is practice finding the area of a circle when it is located on top of a graph. And we're going to use 3.14 for pi. So first what we're going to do is write down the formula that will allow us to find the area of a circle, which is pi multiplied by the radius to the second power. So what we're going to do is immediately substitute pi with 3.14. Next, we have to figure out what is the length of our circle's radius. So right here is the center of our circle, and from this point to this point is a distance of 1, and to here would be 2, 3, and 4. So the length of our circle's radius is 4, and we have to raise that to the second power. Now be careful. Every once in a while I see students try to multiply the radius, which in this case is 4 by 3.14 first, but we have to follow the order of operations, which says we have to take the radius and square it first. Exponents have to be performed before multiplication. So we are going to rewrite our equation as 3.14 times 16, because 4 to the second power is 16. Now we're going to go off to the side here and multiply 3.14 by 16. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 1 is 6 plus that 2 we carried is 8. 6 times 3 is 18. And we put a 0 right here. And 1 times 314 is, of course, 314. So now we just have to add up our digits. So we have a 4 here, 12 here, carry the 1, 10 here, and 5 in this column. And don't forget, we have a decimal in the problem, which means we need 1 in our answer, and the decimal goes right here. So the area of this circle is approximately equal to 50 and 24 hundredths square units. Now, the only reason I put approximately equal to is because the value for pi 3.14 is an approximation for pi. So anytime you multiply something by an approximation, the product is going to be an approximation. All right, let's do another example. All right, once again, we're going to state our formula, which is pi times radius to the second power. And we're going to use 3.14 for pi. And we have to figure out what our radius is and take that value and square it. So starting from the center of our circle, from here to here would be 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we're going to substitute the variable r with 6. Now we're going to take 3.14 and multiply that by 36 and see what we come up with. So we're going to go off to the side here and multiply 3.14 by 36. And we had a 6 in this position in the last problem. And 6 times 3.14 was 1, 8, 8, 4. And we're done with this digit. So we're going to put a 0 right here. And then we have to do 3 times 3.14. So that's going to be a 12, carry the 1. It's going to be 3 plus 1 more is 4, and 3 times 3 is 9. Now we add these digits together, and this is a 4, this is a 10, this is going to be 13, and this is going to be 11. And our decimal goes right here in the answer. So the area of this circle is approximately equal to 113 and 4 hundredths square units. So finding the area of a circle is pretty simple. The main thing is you have to identify what is the length of that circle's radius. And once you know the circle's radius length, you can take that and square it. And you take the square of that radius and just multiply it by 3.14. Hey, I just want to say thanks very much for checking out my math video. Please subscribe to my channel so when I upload new math videos, you can become informed as they become available.